what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, my people? How are you all doing? Big up everybody for my channel. You see me? Welcome back, guys. I don't know. Um, I said that I would start it. I started back um, doing videos on September. However, due to the personal, the COVID and something, and students will be home. What we're going to be doing now is basically crazy work. Mr. Lewis says, every time students ask me, I'll be a teacher, then 
Alright, yeah. Yeah, people, hope everybody joined by now, right? So first one says given two points, two, five, and that the midpoint of the line A B. What they're asking us is to find the midpoint of the line, right? So there's a formula. This is X one and this is y1 for each coordinate it have a x and a y so we can call this x2 and y2 how do we know is find halfway between the x points so it is x1 plus x2 and we divide it by two because we want to find halfway and remember, it's a coordinate we find. So just put a comma. So it's y1 plus y2. And we divide by 2. So uh, it's very simple. So it's 2 plus 5 divided by 2. And 5 plus 13. Divided by two. So this would give us seven divided by two. I already missed the answer, guys. It's T, which I'm just going to show this step. 18 divided by two. This would give us three and a half, and this would give us 0.5. So it is T. All right, guys, so this one now, go ahead and do this one. It said, if X is equal to five, guys, please remember to like the video, share it with your friends so everyone can learn, all right? Given that X is equal to five and Y is equal to minus two, then the value of Y minus X divided by Y is, this is what we call a substitution. So I'm gonna give you guys 20 seconds to finish that, it's very simple. Hope everybody okay. Guys, what's happening in our country? What's happening in Caribbean? Are you guys have to take the vaccine? Are you, what are your preparations for school? How are you guys doing? Mentally, are you ready for school? How the preparation going, man? Hope everybody all right. All right. So let's go now. So it says, given that x is equal to five and y is equal to two, so x, so y would be negative two. So we could just put it, y is equal to negative two. There's a minus there and five, right? So it's a positive five divided by y, which is minus two. So what that will give us, negative two minus five is like somebody owe you two dollar. And then them borrow five dollar more. <laughs> so then owe you seven dollars now. And we divide by two. So that would give us positive, that would cancel each other. And this would give us positive 3.5. Let's proceed. All right, go ahead guys, 30 seconds to do that one. It's not hard, come on, let's go, let's go. It says simplify two bracket a plus three b minus two for a minus three b. Which answer is it? Put it in the comment section. This is, this paper is university entry examination 
and the chances are you will be doing these questions in as a course when you do whatever course you're doing you must do a master at the university level even if you are going to be a lawyer you have to do some form of mathematical um course all right so let's get your practice from now there's no escape in much all right all right so the time is up so let's go let's see so it says two bracket a plus three b minus two for a so we're going to expand the bracket so we're going to multiply by two times a which is two a what we're doing is multiply a by both terms two times positive three b Two times three is six, and we put our B. All right, this one can be tricky, guys. We are multiplying by negative two, and negative times a positive gives us negative or eight A rather. And negative two times a negative gives us positive, and two times three will give us six. B. Now, this is nice and easy, but we are not finished. What we need to do, guys, is to group the like terms. So we're going to bring all the A's together. All right. So 2A, but careful, we must bring the sign. This is minus 8A. So you have to bring the sign along with it. Don't put change it to plus now, seeing that over the years. And then you have 6B plus 6B. 6b plus 6b wonder who we be all right so 2a minus 4a will give us negative 6a because 8a is bigger and 6 plus 6 is 12. do see that answer yet oh yeah i'm seeing it now i'm seeing it i'm not sure that them, them people are joke at a university so that would be B. All right, guys. Well, purple one got that. All right. So it says if A B is equal to three two and O A is equal to six negative three, then O B is equal to guys from your city zero right here. We know that it is a position vector. All right. So this formula would be B minus A. Gives us a b, right? We're just gonna use the information that we have. So basically, b we didn't get b. But A was a six, negative three. And we get a three, two. Well, that's the trial and error now. Couldn't be this, couldn't be this, couldn't be this. So it would be, I think it would be this. So the bracket here, so this give us three and this give us two negative. Yeah, it's this. Two negative becomes positive. Guys, we can't write so good with it. So I'm going to stay short with it, all right? Oh, by the way, this is Lennox Bennett channel. Meds it, guys. People teeth in my videos. So I work so hard. People see it in my videos. All right. The interest gain on 15,500 is invested at a financial institution for five years at an interest rate of 12% compounded per annually. All right. So there's a formula for amount. Should I have to write it out? So it's a principal bracket one 
plus the rate over n, and n represents the number of times it um the compound annually. All right. So in a, in, a, in this case, it's annually, and then you have n times t. And in the calculator for this one, you know, as much as a multiple choice, I think they allow them to use calculator. So the principal is 15,500. And then you have one. The rate would be 12%. So that's 12 over 100. You can convert that as the same thing as. Oh, 0 0.1. Yeah, about 200 as 0 0.1 over 1 because it's annually. And then see the time now 5 times 1, which is the same thing as 5, all right? So this now would give us this. Suppose we the bracket first, but let's um, rewrite this. This will give it 0 0.1, and then this will give it 1 plus this. So 1 into this will give you the same thing. You add this to this, you get 1.12. And that raised to the fifth power. So, guys, we're going to raise 1.12 to the fifth power first, because you have to do the power according to the bonus rule, and then we'll multiply it by this. And it is P. As I say, this is a university exam. All right. If five cakes cost thirty dollars each. Oh, oh, five cakes cost thirty dollars each. Each was sold. And what is? If five cakes which cost thirty dollars each were sold for one thirty-five, then the loss is. So basically, it I say, if you buy five cake. I have paid 30 each. So the total we have cost price would be five times 30, which is equal to 150. So basically you pay 150 feet. And when you don't sell, you make 135. So there's a difference, right? You lose. So it's 150 minus 135. So that is gonna give us 15. And then we express that is 15 upon the cost price, which is 150 times 100. So I have this, this, 15 to 15, one. All right, so it's 10 person. So, no. so that would be. Hey, who got that one right? Guys, this is a much not change at the university level, at the CSEC level, it's the same thing. So we start the now, guys. So then I'll spend it YouTube channel 5492161. We did this one already, so I'm just gonna skip interesting me that twice by mistake. All right, let's look at this one now. If 3x minus y is equal to 3. And 2x plus y is equal to 5, then the value of x is just set it up nicely. As you can see, guys, it's a simultaneous equation. Go ahead and do it. Guys, are warm. We are warm up, you know. Not start yet. A mad, a crazy mad videos are come up, you know. I miss a Benny channel, you know. And not normal. Be a distinction. We are getting this here from the channel. Once a day from the start. Don't you work about that? No kinky thing. COVID, no vaccine needed, all right? So this, both of them are negative, one negative and one positive, so we can add, because it'll get rid of Y right away. This was so nice. So this, it'll give you 5X. Three plus five will give us eight. So let's divide by five. Let me see the answer already. I could be 1.6. All right, so now I'm going to further. Very nice 
question eh. Alright. So, I'm going to shift. I'm going to shift. Alright. Let's look at the figure. Let's get on the more. What is the value of cost B for the triangle below? And it's a figure one. So I guess they don't want us to work it out. They just want the, let me see the option. So they want cost B, so right this angle. We'll just put theater there. What we know about cost? Cost. Somebody write that in the comment section before me do. Cost is, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well done. All right. So cost is adjacent upon hypotenuse. So we're going to just write it. We'll go down to the options. So that will be, no, this is the opposite. So the adjacent, as you remember, we're looking from this angle. So here's our opposite. This will be our hypotenuse. And naturally, it is our adjacent. Right? So adjacent will be 8 over 17. And it's done this one. Our option would be C, and that would be our answer. All right, so this one now, guys, if f of x is equal to 3x plus 5, what's the value of x if f of x is equal to 0? It's too complicated, but what is this basically saying? Just equate this equation to 0, because this is f of x, right? So 3x plus 5 is equal to 0, and then we solve for x. Very simple. We'll get rid of this plus 5 right here by subtracting 5. What we do to one side, we do to both sides. So we're going to get 3x equal negative 5. And we know the rest. We divide by 3. So that's negative one point. So that give you two thirds, so it's one point six 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 six. But they took the liberty of rounding it off for us. So this one would be B. very nice question, very easy. I think only the sign some people probably messed up. All right, guys, and that's Bennett here. All right. So this one says negative one square plus two, negative two cube. This one can be a little bit tricky. Um, negative one times, let us write it out. Negative one times negative one. That would give us positive one. As a negative times a negative. All right, this one is a little bit tricky. Two times two. Yeah, this when a number is raised to a power, if it's an odd number, it's going to be negative. If it's a even number, it's going to be positive. So this is negative 8. And 1 plus negative 8. It means you have 8 negative, so it, these are bigger. So what we do, we subtract and keep the sign. So it's negative 7. So this one is B. All right, guys. Those are very tricky. So make them all right. All right. So this one says if f if x is equal to two and x y is equal to six, then x plus y square minus x square minus y square is all right. We we'll just see what I go on here. So. So then give x to be two and then say x times y. So what times two give us six? So that means say, uh, let's see, 
right? So x is two and y is three. Simple as that. All right, so I could just put them in perspective now. It's a two plus three. I'll square it. Can be tricky now, guys. Don't take them for granted. Minus two square minus three square. All right. We never see the bracket code. Let's see what one. All right, so this will give us five. So that will be five square. Many if I next square the out, let's say, no, that's a problem. Two, two, four, minus so this. I'm just put the minus here, so I'm going to put the bracket. So it's four minus three, three is nine. All right, so right, so what's inside the bracket now? The minus. How many let's write 25? All right, all right, go ahead. So this gives us inside the bracket, four minus nine gives us five. All right, so let's put things in perspective now. This would give us 25. A negative times a negative would give us positive. So negative, so it's 30. But there were no square there. So 25 plus this is equal to 30. Guys, be very careful with this sign when you are doing these. Who got that one right? Guys, do remember I'll be doing, I will be doing the, I will be doing the January reset 2022. So people getting yourself ready. For those of you who didn't get the one and you want the one, and for those of you who got four and you wanted a pass, all right? So this one said, the y-intercept of the line with equation 2y plus 3x equal eight is, first of all, let me just say it's a straight line. But it must be in this form. Y is equal to mx plus c. So we're gonna get this in this form. So we're gonna just equate y to everything. All right. So we're gonna subtract this 3x. Let's just rewrite it here. So and get it in this form, and then we can go ahead. So we get rid of this positive 3x by subtracting 3x. Let's just, all right, it's supposed to be out the front, you know, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. I'm going to just rewrite. As remember, mx, so it's negative 3x plus 8. It look more cuter, all right? So this is it's supposed to be 8. All right, so now we're gonna divide by two. We'll divide this by two. Remember we are focused on this one, right? So this negative 1.5. So this would be the gradient, negative 1.5. All right. Hope everybody okay, stay safe guys, stay safe. All right, which of the following? is the value, which of the following is the value of g negative two, if g of x is equal to two minus x squared divided by five. So they gave us g to be negative two. So anyway, it's the x gonna replace it with negative two. So let's go two minus, remember is minus two. So we're gonna put a negative two there, but it's square, right? So it can be tricky guys, it can be tricky. All of that to form five. Remember, according to the bonus rule, the square first. So we're gonna get two that give positive four, two minus positive four upon two upon five rather. This 
is the same thing as 2 minus 4, a positive one and negative. So we're going to subtract it inside of the bigger one. This is going to give us a negative. So it's 2 minus 4 upon 5. And I think that's the answer. This gives us negative 2 upon 5. And we're going to convert it to the same thing as 0 0.4. So that would be our answer, right? I hope you guys can convert fraction. If not, there are other videos on my channel. You can check it out. Just type in Lennox Bennett conversion, all right? Fraction to decimal, decimal to. All right, guys, I'm Lennox Bennett. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe if you have not done so. Gonna be awesome, awesome, awesome. Keep coming, everything will come in place. All right, so this one says 2p square q q. What we can do, guys, is just multiply each by four. So four times m by four. It's a four to the to the fourth power. So this is give us 16. So we, we know say is this this or let me see next one. All right, so we can eliminate them here. All right, so you do much, you know. So I just two leave. Let us see, you know, four times two, because this is the same thing as p square plus p square plus p square. That's a four times. You know what? I'm not taking them for granted. Once the powers are the same, it's like we're adding, you no. Know, that it in the times first. I'm gonna show you the times, all right? I want people to be learning. This is equivalent to this. P two plus two plus two plus two. So that's a P to the eight, right? And we're gonna do the same thing for Q. So add three, four times, three plus three plus three, and that will be 12. So this will be our answer. So you see guys, something enough work it out fully, you can just point yourself in the direction. Once you're here, you will be learning, all right? All right, we can find the inverse of this. Let's go, let's go. All right, so um, already we can eliminate, no, no, no. Suppose a one. We know I eliminate them because if we work out to one. All right, guys. This this in the form now as a. Go ahead and work it, you know, guys. Work it, work it, work it, work it. So it's a b c d. It's in this this form, and at the end we're gonna get one over a d minus b c, which is the determinant, and then. D I come up here, so I'm gonna swap D and A, and we take change the sign of D, right? So it's B and C. So we could do that. So first, A times D, which is two times one, is like I'm making an X, no, an X, an X. Like for the wrong bang, what the government had do. Two times one is two. It's two minus, minus one times that gives us minus three. So already we see our one over five. So we can eliminate them two here now because we see our one over five. All right. Because these two are going to become positive. It's one over five. All right. Remember what we're going to do now? A is going to go where D is. So A is. Two, so two is gonna go here, and one is gonna go here. We change the negative, so this is gonna become positive, and this become negative. So this is one one. Oh, it's B. Yeah, man. B as in penny. All right, guys, remember to share with your friends. Subscribe if you have not done so. Sabinit, so appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. This is Mr. Bennett. I'm out. No,
Tchau.